everybody, it's Mike, aka That Reseller Guy. It's Friday, Black Friday. I'm sure a lot of you are out shopping, looking for some good deals. Maybe you're just hitting the thrift stores as usual. I have a lot of stuff to go over. All of this is going to be sales today. No thrift haul, none of that stuff. I'm just going to be going over sales from the last two days. I didn't do a video on Thanksgiving. I hope you all had a great day with family and friends. I did. My wife made a fantastic dinner. It's the one time of year she goes all out, makes a great meal. Thank you, honey. All right. So let's get into sales now. I already have a bunch boxed up. Those were the ones that I sold on Wednesday. Post office was closed Thursday. So got to go take them to the post office today. It's going to be packed there, but got to get it done. I sold four items on Wednesday. Four items for $134.95. They're all packed up already, so I'm just going to pop up little screenshots here and go over them. First one is this Mega Blocks T-Rex set. It's similar to Lego. It's a big box, actually. It is this big box. It's all packed up, ready to go. I've had this in my store for quite a while. Finally sold. $59.99 plus $19.99 shipping. So there's $79.98, basically $80 bucks all in. Nice sale on that one. Happy to get that out. Clear the, clear some shelf space. Next are these two Huawei brand scopes. I'm not sure what what laser tag or whatever system these are for. Picked these up pretty cheap. I think I paid a buck and a half a piece for them. Bundled them together. Got $29.99 shipped. I sold a bar of soap. I've had some of these soaps for a couple of years, slowly selling them off. I think Arkansas might be the last one that I have some left for. So Razorback fans, buy these up. I got sold this for $5.99 plus $3.99 shipping. So basically 10 bucks for the bar of soap. Got a little shake on the camera going on. My cat's scratching the scratching post and my camera is sitting on a tripod on top of that. I'm shaking all over the place. Thanks a lot, Tilly Cat. And the last item went to a, a local buyer. He messaged me, asked if he could just do a local pickup on this item. Said, if you can meet me down at the post office, I'm all in. So we made a deal, 15 bucks for this Chandler High School mini helmet. All right, now Amazon. Amazon's been really busy over the past two days too. From here on out, Amazon should be very steady through December. Looking forward to those sales. Now, I don't think I'm gonna do as good as I did last year or the year before. I just haven't been sending in as much stuff to Amazon as I have in the past. I don't know if that means I haven't been finding as much or I've just been moving some of those items on eBay because the prices are pretty similar. But let's go over what sold. Seven items, $378.91. So again, a really good couple days on Amazon. Only one item is being shipped out by me. I'll show you that one first. It's this here. I showed this, I think, once in one of my thrift hauls. This is an Oregon Scientific Oregon or Oregon. I say it, I'm not sure. But it's a Grill Right Talking Barbecue Oven Thermometer. I listed this on both Amazon and eBay. Amazon, I had it for $129.99, which is what it sold for. On eBay, I put it for $99. I listed them at the same time, and it just shows Amazon. I got $30 more for this on Amazon than I would have on eBay. That's why I sell on Amazon. So six items are being shipped FBA, fulfilled by Amazon, that are from their warehouse, getting sent right to the customer. Here they are. The first one is another one of these Connects uh, Mighty Maker set. I bought six of these for about seven bucks a piece. Send them all in at the same time. It's selling for $47.99. I still got, I think, four of those in the warehouse to sell. I'm sure they will all sell before Christmas. Next is this Eaton Motion Light Sensor Switch. Yeah, I think I picked this up for a buck, buck 99, something like that. It sold for $25.99. I sold the Pirate Dice. I told you Pirate Dice is a good game. It's simple. I got $34.98 from this on Amazon. Again, on eBay, they sell for under $20. So good sale here on this Pirate Dice game. I sold some Maxell cassette tapes, a pack of five. These are the uh, UR120s. So they're better tape than just the, your standard 60s or 90s. This sold for $29.98 for a pack of five. Really good sale here on this GE wireless alarm system. I picked up several of these GE, uh, you know, different parts to this system. This is the main unit. This sold for $79.99 shipped. I think I paid five bucks for it. And the last Amazon item was a photo frame, a Sylvania photo frame. Yes, people still do use these, still put them on their desks. They make great presents. This one sold for $29.99. I got one more in the warehouse. Glad to have these gone. They were sitting back here in my pile for quite a, quite a bit. Finally sent them in. 
and they're starting to sell. So they have it, a really good day on Amazon. Again, almost $400 in sales. So, so far between those two, we're at over $500 in sales from Wednesday, eBay, and Amazon for the last two days. So next, let's check out what I got back here that sold on eBay that I gotta get ready to ship. Okay, the, the eBay list is long. It's long and good. 11 items sold for $734.11. It's a fantastic average price, almost $70 an item. So had some really good sales. Let's start going over this stuff over here. First are these two little Wayne Gretzky mini jerseys. These were a stadium giveaway uh, from the Arizona Coyotes. They did come in like a plastic box that framed it up all nice, but these are two loose ones. These are actually going up to Canada. I sold these for $19.99, plus I had $20 shipping in there for Canada. It's gonna be cheaper than that, so I'm probably gonna be refunding a little bit of his shipping because he was $39.99 all in for these two. I sold the first one of these Dell 1971 baseball books. These have player stamps inside, some team facts, some cool stuff like that. This is, again, the first one that I've sold, the Washington Senators. This sold for $12.99 ship. It was, I only have one of the Senators, unfortunately. Sold another one of these war games. I'm just about out of these from the purchase I had. I, I bought, I think, seven or eight of these for two or three dollars a piece, and they've been selling great. Fantastic markup on these. This sold for $59.99 ship. Now, it's a nicer set than a lot of them that are out there. Let's see if I can show this without damaging the parts inside. Everything's still unpunched. This is basically a new game, just in an open box, and you don't find these too often in this condition. So that, so that took the price up quite a bit. I probably would have got, you know, maybe 30 bucks for this if it was punched, but like it is, it went for $59.99 shipped. I sold some light bulbs. I had a box that I bought at a local auction sitting in the garage probably for four to six months, just piling stuff on top of it. I finally got to it the other day. These sold within an hour of listing. It's four light bulbs for like photo studios. That's what the whole box of stuff I bought was. It was a, basically like a whole lighting studio setup but not exactly what I'm looking for, for for my taking pictures and stuff. So I parted it all out. There's a couple different sets of light bulbs. There are some tripods. There are some lamps. Put it all out there. I think there's almost $200 worth of items that I listed. I think I paid about $20 for everything. But this stack of bulbs I sold for $35 shipped. And it wouldn't be a or a sales video without some sales of Mike Piazza cards. This is a whole box full of game used jersey cards of his. I showed a small lot I sold the other day. This was a lot of ones that are all, you know, just the cheaper, not quite as expensive individual cards. Here's one here again. It's got the piece of jersey swatch right there of his. All of these are like this. It's 75 cards and it went for $149.99, so $2 per card. Really happy to move out a bulk, bulk lot of Piazza cards like this. I have this one all boxed up and ready to go. This is a lot of eight Arizona Diamondbacks autographed baseballs. You can see in the picture up here, not a lot of real big name players, but players that are very recognizable to Diamondbacks fans. Surprisingly, this is going out of the country. It is going to uh, Canada via GSP. I don't know why it's going GSP global shipping up to Canada because usually all my listings are set to ship to Canada. But for some reason, this is going GSP to Canada. So I'm shipping it to Kentucky. I'm just going to ship it here in this flat rate A box. It ships for $10 and some change. This sold for $49.99 shipped. The other day I sold the Xbox gift card. Today I sold this wireless controller. This sold for $39.99 plus another $4.99 shipping. So basically $45. This game's older. It's it's on CD-ROM for Windows 95 and 98. I'm not sure how many systems are still running that, but either this person's a collector and they're buying it or they have a system that will run the software. I'm not sure if current computers will. Either way, this is a Browning African Safari like hunting game. This sold for $19.99 shipped. It's nice and light, so it'll ship first class. Now to some sports gear. This is a lacrosse chest protector 
but it's missing like an extender piece. I think these are worn by goalies and there's like a little extender piece that can Velcro on to protect like the stomach area. This will get the, the top part of the chest, but without that extender, this sold for less than it would have. Still, I got $25 shipped for it. It's gonna go priority. So again, it's gonna cost me in that $10 range, but it's not really gonna get damaged. I don't know if I have a poly bag this big it'll fit in. Either way, I'll find a way to ship this. And again, it sold for $25 shipped. Showed this pair of skates in a recent haul video. These sold very quickly. I sold these for $129.99. I hadn't heard of this brand. It's Graf brand skates. Obviously they're a very high quality skate. If you look on eBay, there's plenty of solds and only a couple pairs that are available. So if you happen to find this brand, they will sell quick and they will sell for good money. This, this pair was, was pretty much like new. There's a couple scuffs on the toe area, but other than that, I don't think they were ever worn. So got a great price, $129.99. Today's last item, again, another item that sh showed in a recent haul video, this vintage catcher's chest protector and mask. I comboed them together into one listing. I looked it up because this is Wilson brand, but this mask, the name is Ken Well. I hadn't heard of it. There's not a lot of masks of theirs out there. They make, there's more gloves available, but I comboed these two together and I shot pretty high. I put it out for $149.99 and it sold. Again, it sold in about a week. This is actually going GSP over to the UK. So again, I'll ship it to Kentucky. They'll repackage it, send it over there. Very happy with this sale at $149.99. Again, got no haul video today. I'm saving that for tomorrow. I don't normally do Saturday videos, but I think I'm gonna do a quick one tomorrow with just one topic. At the auction this morning, I had a, a nice little pickup for some N64 games. I think they're all N64 games, actually. No, there's a few others in there. So I'm gonna leave it as a little bit of a surprise. I really haven't gone through them too much. I haven't scanned them too much. I just checked them. I knew there was a couple of good titles in there. So the, for the price I got them for, I knew it was gonna be a great deal. So make sure you come back tomorrow. Check out that video as well. And as always, thanks everybody for watching. Have a great weekend. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Give me a nice thumbs up. Let me know that I'm doing all right on these videos. Okay, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time.